today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here and I absolutely love how it turned out. I just knew that I wanted to do some kind of smoky look today so this is what I've come up with and I absolutely love it. I also have nowhere to go tonight or today so I'm just going to be very glam in the house. So that is going to be my day. I also think this makeup looks really nice for this time of the year, especially with this pinky highlight shade. I think it just really brightens up a little bit. So if you'd like to learn how to create this look, then just keep watching. So I've actually just filmed a foundation review on the Superstay 24 Hour Maybelline Foundation. So that is what I have on my skin already. I have applied the Collection Prime and Ready mattifying pore minimizer before that so that is all I have on my skin I will leave the link to the review of this foundation down below so you can see my full first impressions and my thoughts on this foundation but as you can see it does look really nice so yay so I'm going to first move on to the brows and I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Focus and Fix eyebrow palette I'm not going too crazy on the eyebrows today I feel like every time I attempt to do a really natural eyebrow they seem to go <laughs> extra extravagant so we will see how it turns out. So I'm first just going to take the Natural Collection Loose Powder in the shade Neutral Translucent and I'm just using this just to set my eyelids just to set the foundation and make sure the eyeshadows blend really nicely. So on the lid I'm going to be adding this brown shimmery shade here and this is from the NYC Individual Eyes palette and I'm just taking that on a base shadow brush by Real Techniques. I'm just applying that all over the lid. On a small tapered brush I'm going to be taking that burgundy shade in the same palette and I'm just going to add this onto the outer half of the eyelid or the outer third should I say. Taking a fluffy crease brush, we're just going to slightly blend that out. And then I'm just going to go back in with that same shadow and just build that up a little bit more. Now taking a bronzer, I'm using the Makeup Revolution bronzer in the shade Medium Matte. And on that same fluffy crease brush, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of that. I'm going to just push that through the crease. And this is just going to add a little bit of warmth and a little bit more depth. And I really like using bronzers through the crease. I just feel like it adds a natural warmth to the eye. Especially if you use the same bronzer on your face as well, it just ties in the look and looks a lot more natural. I'm going to go in and add a little bit of black eyeshadow. Now I think I've mentioned this before with this product it gets absolutely everywhere <laughs> so just be very careful if you're using this product. On that same tapered brush as before adding a small amount and you want to just tap off any excess and then I'm going to focus this in the outer V of the eye. As you can see it's super pigmented and you will get a lot of fallout with this. But I really just want to smoke up that outer corner. So once you've placed the product where you want it you want to go then back in with the same fluffy crease brush as before and then just really carefully blend that out into that area. You want to be careful you're not blending it too far up to the brow bone. Just literally keep it within the crease. Going back in with the same brush as before, adding a slight bit more product where you need it just to deepen up the outer corner. 
and then again back in with the same fluffy brush and you just really want to take your time with this the same with any smoky eye you just want to add a small amount of product blend it out and add more if you're going with too much product in one go it's just going to not work um, and it's just going to get really messy and just not be good so small amounts blend it out and then add more you can always add more but it's really difficult to take products away without making a mess of the rest of your makeup so once you've blended it all out and it's nice and even you just want to then go and clean up underneath your eye because more than likely if you're using the same products as me you will get a lot of fallout I'm just going back in with a little bit more of that foundation from before just to clean up underneath next I'm going to use the Super Stay Better Skin and I've just realised they kind of match, they're both Super Stay products so that's good I suppose, we can use them together um, just going to apply this with my ring finger underneath my eyes yes I'm still loving this product if you're wondering still use it every day going back in with my sponge just to push that into the skin taking the natural collection loose powder from before that we used to set the eyelids and I'm just going to apply that underneath the eye and I'm just using the Real Techniques contour brush to do this so I'm just going to leave that to set while I do my liquid eyeliner and I'll be using the Miss Sporty Studio Lash Eyeliner with my trusty angled brush if you haven't tried one of these to do your liquid eyeliner I highly recommend it, it makes life so much easier now I don't really know what kind of liner I want to go for with this look so I'm just going to have a little play and just see what happens um, and see what I think looks best my hand is shaking so much, I've drank so much coffee today I don't normally drink coffee but I have brought some of these like ready make cappuccinos so you just pour the mixture in and add the water and they're very nice <laughs> so I've had quite a few of those today and I feel like I've got the shakes which isn't the best thing when you're trying to do eyeliner okay so I've added a really nice thick wing in the outer corner and then a super super thin line just to line the rest of the eye so now that the line is done I'm going to move on to the bottom lash line and I'm going to be taking this small brush from Real Techniques and this is the accent brush and it's a tiny little domed shape flat brush and I'm just dipping that into the black shadow that we used and I'm ever so lightly just going to push that into the bottom lash line and then just join it up to the wing in the outer corner going back in with a slightly larger brush I'm going to go into that same bronzer as before and then you basically just want to smudge out that black shadow that you've just placed down with the bronzer so you're really just smoking that bottom lash line out adding a little bit of black eyeliner in the waterline this is one by NYC going to add a tiny little bit of mascara this is also by NYC and it's the Showtime mascara and then for lashes I'm using the Revlon Intensify Oxyfiber technology and these are the Define lashes Moving on to the face, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution 
whoops, bronzer that I used on the eyes. I'm taking an angled brush just to do some contouring underneath my cheekbones. For my highlight, I'm going to be using the MUA Undress Your Skin highlighter, which is a really, really pretty pinky shell iridescent shade. I haven't used this highlight shade in ages, but it's such a pretty shade. I'm just going to add that just underneath the brow bone as well. I'm also just going to add a smaller amount of that to the top lip and then just taking that base shadow brush from before I'm going to add a little bit of this highlight in the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten up that inner corner for blush I'm going to add this really pretty peach shade as you can see I use it a lot um, it is the shade Lolly and it's from MUA and I'm just going to add a little bit of that onto the apples of the cheeks. For lips, I'm going to start off by lining them with this NYC lip liner in the shade Caramel Nugget. I'm next going to use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream which looks like this and it's in the shade London and my friend got me this for Christmas in like a little makeup hamper and I'm literally addicted to this, it's so good. It's like nothing I've ever tried before, the consistency is of like a moussey consistency and it dries really matte and it's really soft on the lips, it doesn't make them dry or crack or anything like that and it lasts like all day which is really good so I'm really tempted to go and get a few more shades of this but this is such a pretty colour it's like a really dark kind of brony nude shade so as you can see it looks like kind of semi matte at the minute but it will dry in a few minutes to a nice matte finish and I just think this colour it's super pretty, it's nice to have a slightly darker nude because I do wear quite a lot of light nude shades. So this is the finished makeup look, I really just wanted to do a nice smoky dramatic look today. I was just in the mood to glam up a little bit. So this is the finished look, I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have please give it a thumbs up to let me know and also don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already there'll be a little link up here somewhere. I will leave all the products I've used in the description box down below like always. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!